you were falling, then I would catch you. You need a light. I'd find a match, cause I love the way you say good morning. And you take me the way I am. If you Ladies and gentlemen, be seated. Uh, we are gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Corey and Chelsea. For those of you who don't know, I'm uh, Chelsea's brother-in-law. And about uh, three months ago, Corey and Chelsea called and asked me if I would officiate their wedding. I immediately panicked, <laughs> began to sweat, continued to sweat till I got here. Still sweating, and uh, but I am I'm honored to uh, be such a you know to be here on this day. It's a beautiful day for them. All right, now to the real business. Let's do some vows. Corey, you're up first. Uh, repeat after me. I, Corey, take you, Chelsea, to be my wife. I, Corey, take you, Chelsea, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forth. Better for worse. <laughs> Richer for worse. Love and to cherish. Now Chelsea, repeat after me. I Chelsea take you, Corey, to be my husband. I Chelsea take you, Corey, to be my husband. To have and to hold for this day For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. My earnest and complete devotion, I give you my love. Corey, do you take Chelsea, who you have promised to love and to cherish, to be your lawfully wedded wife? I, I do. do. <laughs> Chelsea, do you take Corey, who you have promised to love and to cherish, to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. That's good. You're making progress. Traditionally, the marking of the passage to status of husband and wife is marked by the exchange of rings. All right, Corey, repeat after me. These rings symbolize my desire. These rings symbolize my desire that you be my wife from this day forward. All right, Chelsea, repeat after me. <laughs> <laughs> this ring symbolizes my wish. This ring symbolizes my wish that you be my husband from this day Corey and Chelsea, having witnessed your vows for marriage with all these assembled here today, I announce with great joy you are from this day forward husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Corey Nelson. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing for the very first time at a public event, Mr. and Mrs. Corey Nelson. This will be their very first dance. Yeah. 
destination Which is where my arms belong Cause whenever she is there with me I know where I'm supposed to be I know where I want to be To tell her that my love is true Chelsea and her father on their dance. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you could put your hands together for Corey and his beautiful mother. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue for me and you. And I think to myself, We just wanted to thank everyone for coming here today and thank everyone. Oh, sorry, you can't hear me. And thank everyone that helped us put this beautiful event together. It was what I call our labor of love. Um, it was a lot of work. My, <laughs> my um, bridesmaids called me slave driver yesterday. <laughs> And if you didn't catch any of that, you can I refer you to the chalkboard that we collaborated on over there. Corey made that. You don't have to tell him that. We, we made everything together. Yes. And division of labor is an interesting thing. She comes up with the ideas, and I get my hands dirty. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Erin, I'm Chelsea's big sister, and I'm the matron of honor because I'm old and married. And this really was a labor of love. I liked working in Chelsea's sweatshop. I had a whole week of it, and when I say that I really mean like a week. I remember five years ago when we were at the bar, and Chelsea's like, there he is, he's here. We were like, go talk to him. No, no, I can't. I'm so embarrassed. They kind of knew each other. We'll just say that. And um, we were like, no, go talk to him. And I'm so glad she did because here we are five years later. This man is sitting here next to my sister, married. Yeah. Married. Yeah. And so everybody raise your glass. And I didn't bring mine, but raise your glass. 
to these two crazy kids. And have a long and happy life together. I know you will. Um, so I was a freshman in high school. Corey was a senior in high school. So you know how it is. You're a freshman. You don't know anybody. You put your head down. You mind your business. I was walking in between classes, and you know, I'm heads down. I'm just going to my next history class or whatever. Do you remember this? You don't remember this. <sighs> supposed to be smart. <laughs> anyway, so he, uh, so I see Corey coming the opposite way, and uh, you know, I wasn't gonna bother him because he was with his friends. You know, he's a senior. But uh, he actually stopped me and said, what, you're not going to say hi? And uh, that actually meant a lot to me. So that, that made me feel special. Um, probably gave me confidence that I didn't deserve. Um, so I do appreciate that. You know, I would get updates from our mom. I lived out of town. And, you know, I'd ask, you know, is Corey still dating that Chelsea girl? And she would say, yeah, he's, he's still dating her. I was just, I was blown away, because it had, it had been like two or three weeks, and so I was, I was just like, what? This is serious. Um, but he, he did find somebody that can tolerate his quirks. You have quirks. Uh, somebody that can keep up with him intellectually, which he's, he's a smart man. If you don't believe me, pick a topic, he'll tell you all about it and why your opinion of it is incorrect. <laughs> but I think everybody that's at this facility that's married can agree on, on the following. Um, when you're wrong, admit it. When you're right, shh, be quiet. <laughs> and, uh, you know, every, every so often, go out of your way to make that person feel special. And I think you, you will last a very long time. And uh, Chelsea, welcome to our family. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. I love you. So, Chels, I know that I've warned you about this before, but I just feel like I have to remind you one last time. I have a no return policy on my boys. <laughs> Once you take one, you cannot, cannot give them back. Are we clear? Years later came Chels and another phone call. You were struggling trying to figure out and understand priorities, how marriage and jobs and partners all work together. And I remember saying to you after this, two hours stint on the garage floor. Cor, can you picture your life without Chelsea in it? Without a second's hesitation, you said, no, Mom. Well, Cor, neither can we. It's a little side note, Cor. I just want to say thank you for bringing another beautiful girl into our family. I was a little outnumbered for a whole lot of years. Seems as though I just need one more. I'm just saying, Brian. I'm just saying. Just saying. Congratulations and thanks for being two great kids. I love you guys. Okay, well, we hope everybody left room for cake. <laughs> Let's get rich and buy our parents' phones and stop our friends. Let's get rich and give everybody nice sweaters and teach them how to get the way up there. You and I, you and I. Let's get rich and buy our parents' phones and stop our friends.